Okay, folks, Vaidik here from Melvani with us today. We have a person I don't need to introduce because he's one and only Adam D of Killswitch and now a new project, Serpentine Dominion. How are you doing, brother? Very good, man. How's it going today? It's going quite good. Loving the new album, uh, which took like, what, seven years to finally come out, but, you know, wonderful a wicked you. long time yeah <laughs> yeah it took forever to do but uh but yeah it's finally finally done so yeah there you go <laughs> and you must be super relieved to finally have it you know out next month uh, via metal blade you know relieved is actually a, a really good word <laughs> uh you know i just feel like when you work on something that long it kind of makes you lose your mind a little bit you know True. True, absolutely. And you have already unleashed the vengeance in me. Uh, it's been three weeks. Uh, how's been the response from fans? Because obviously they were wondering what sort of sound uh, is this project going to carry? Right. Um, I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I haven't paid much attention to what people were saying on the Internet. So I, you know, I have no idea. But uh, um, all my, all some people that I've personally shown said it was pretty cool. So, yeah, I that they're... Uh, that's good news or they're lying to me. I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they're telling the fact because obviously like you know like you said 7 years in the making it's been a long time. Uh, obviously the question that comes here is uh why did it take 7 long years? Obviously I understand that you guys have been busy with your individual uh bands which are your priority but 7 years that's like you know insane amount of time you guys took for this album. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's, uh, it mostly had to do with, uh, George and I, um, having conflicting schedules with our tours mm -hmm. and, um, we ran into, we ran into a big snag with the lyrics too. Um, uh, George wanted to try to write, um, the lyrics for the record. Okay. Uh, but he's not really, a, he's not really a lyricist. I don't think he's ever written lyrics for any other projects he's ever done. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it was something he, he wanted to try to do. And, uh, he ended up, you know, kind of hitting a hitting a roadblock with that. You know, kind of uh, not really getting anything that he was happy with. So that's why we ended up hiring a, an outside writer to help us with the lyrics. So yeah, with those two snags, I think that's those are the main reasons why you know it took us quite some time to get it all done. Absolutely, and you took help of Jesse. You know, who's obviously a great uh, you know lyricist. So uh, you wanted to ensure that uh, Jesse doesn't write his you know personal stuff, whatever he does with Killswitch. But this is more inclined towards the the topics uh, around uh, the the corruption within the government, religion, and so on. So was it kind of your idea to have this sort of topic being explored on this? Uh, you know, keeping in mind that the elections are you know somewhere close. Exactly. Well, uh, Jesse, or I'm sorry, uh, George and I came up with the uh, the idea. Uh, that's what we wanted to have the record to be about. Uh, just seeing it around, you know, all all the, the 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 things that are kind of hidden from from view and all the agendas and all the stuff that uh, you know it's really uh, people don't pay enough attention to. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, we we gave Jesse that uh, that theme to roll with, and he ended up writing a bunch of lyrics that. Uh, I ended up uh, arranging into song form, and uh, there it was. Excellent. That's wonderful. I've been listening to this album from past 10 days, and every every time I spin it, it, it there's those beauties present in you know in those bits and pieces which I somehow seem to uh, understand and and cherish every time especially be it your uh, riff or or Shannon's drum lick everything is precise accurate and on point and obviously George uh, you know freaking monster on, on, on vocals so for you having spent a lot of time on this album when it comes to the final product how satisfied are you with it uh, to be honest with you, I think I, I beat myself up a little bit on the sonics of the record. Mm -hmm. um, I wish it—I wish it sounded a little cleaner and a little heavier. But I, I guess I just—you know—when you when you mix and you record something and you spend that much time trying, you know, you kind of lose uh, perspective a little bit. And I think in a perfect world, um, any producer or engineer shouldn't work on a record for more than two months at a time. Right. Yeah, instead of some, instead of seven, seven years, years, you know what I mean? But. Uh, but beyond that, though, I think George and Shannon did an absolutely killer job. You know, their, their roles within the record uh, were very, very quick. Shannon, you know, I think Shannon tracked drums in maybe three, three days. Wow. And, uh, uh, and then George ended, ended up taking maybe 
a week to do all of the vocals. So it was, you know, their roles were very, very quick. And I think you can still hear the inspiration with everything they did on the record. They're, they just sound great. Absolutely. Obviously, the, the, the album being like an absolute joy. But I got to say, this was definitely for me personally, it's, it'll go down as your most ambitious and probably well executed effort in spite of you telling me that you know i wish you had a little more you know uh, about the production and stuff but it is i feel you're more well executed especially with such wonderful uh, songs on this album like sovereign hate which is uh, a perfect mixture of how you fused in uh, those wonderful chorus with with your cleans as well as george doing it you know good to see those multiple vocal layers on few tracks especially having you on clean and and george both in sync right yeah i thought it would be kind of a, a unique sound to put um to put some clean vocals with you know george's monster vocal you know it's like uh something you know, a lot of a lot of bands haven't done you know that kind of style so it's uh yeah, I thought it was a neat, neat thing to do, and it really just, it does kind of sound like uh, all of our bands combined because of that, you know. Right, absolutely. And obviously, you know, George, you said is your favorite death metal singer. So was it like, no, it has to be George on the album and nobody else? So over the period of time, was it ever a thought maybe to have a guest singer on the album or something? No, I really was. The, I really wanted George to do it. You know, I think, uh, well, that's where the whole idea came from. You know, we were uh, touring together uh, on the Mayhem Festival back in 2009. 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and it, it, that's where I came up with the idea just because, you know, I, I heard him every day and I'm just like, this guy really is the best out there. You know, I, I should just I should just ask him if he'd want to make some music with me. And, you know, that's it was kind of all themed around that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you know, coming to your riffs, obviously, you know, very fabulous. I mean, there's no freaking person in the world who can say no to Adam D's riffs. That, that, that's how it goes. So, you know, for you... Uh, what? <laughs> I say no to him all the time. <laughs> you'd say no, but not the fans who listen to you, who have been listening to you for, for, for decades now, obviously, you know. So for you, you know, keeping Kill Switch uh, in mind, what was the mindset? Were you trying to kind of... Uh, write something so that you stay away from the kill switch sound or you want to kind of set up that as a base and go more heavier more faster and more aggressive uh, I, I didn't really put any thought into it at all i just kind of um yeah it was definitely a, a faster a more aggressive thing mm -hmm. but it, i really did this just out of you know for the sake of having some fun you know um i i love listening to death metal right. so you know i guess it, it, i was just thinking a little more death metal minded, I suppose. And maybe because of that, it ended up being just a, a lot of fun for me, man. It's just a blast to make, you know, I kind of, uh, it definitely feels like, um, I, I had to push myself a little bit more than I would for say a band like kill switch, you know? Right. That's wonderful. And obviously the, the question about play, who's playing bass, I reckon you, uh, uh took the bass and, and recorded it. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Okay, because in, in the mix, uh, certain tracks, had the, the bass was pretty much very clear, especially if, if it's uh, heard through studio monitors. You can clearly hear that you try to make sure that the bass doesn't uh, go right behind the guitars and the vocals and the drums. So from that perspective, I felt the bass was kind of audible to some extent. Well, hey, you always want it to be audible, you know, that's the point. You don't want it to not be audible. Yeah. Indeed, <laughs> unless it's justice for all. <laughs> so, yeah, right, right. <laughs> all right, so, you know, Shannon, obviously, you know, you said he, he, he kicked ass on this, and especially a song like Jagged Cross Legions, where his, his blast beast and those sustained snare shots were wonderful. And obviously, you know, you sang over it, so there has been that shift between the traditional death metal and, and sort of uh, the metalcore vibe. This dynamic shift was wonderful, and Shannon, you, and George just nailed it. Uh, like you said, it took three days for for Shannon to uh, you know write down the drum line. So I'm sure that would have been like wonderful to see him just churning out these beats in in a you know in probably one take or something. Yeah, man, he's he's a, a very very talented drummer, man. He is uh, so fast and clean and accurate and just he's he's on it, man. He's a, he's one of the best. Absolutely. And and the question which everybody will have, I know, in their mind after the album is released is when will they get to see this live? Now, that's a very difficult task to achieve, but I think it could be possible somehow you guys managed to do that. Well, that's that's the whole question. We, we want to wait and see how the record is received, obviously. You know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, 
if people don't like it, then of course we're not going to go tour on it. But uh, if uh, people end up liking the record, um, you know, there's, there's, that's something we're going to have to maybe think about, you know, uh, it could be a lot of fun to go and, and play some shows. And, you know, I guess it's just the, the, at that point, it would just be the challenge of finding some time where uh, both George and I aren't on tour and Shannon mm-hmm. wants to do it. And uh, yeah, it's, that's going to be the hard part. Absolutely. And let's see if you guys go on tour and somebody has to play the bass, obviously on stage. So who would that be? Who's like the first thought that comes to your mind to have on stage playing bass for these songs? I have no idea. We'd have to find another guitar player as well. So yeah, oh, right, a, yeah. a little bit of a, yeah, we, we'd have a little bit of work trying to find the personnel for the record. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, with this album obviously coming out, you you named it, it's a, it's a self-titled album. So does it mean that there will also be another album sometime down the road, maybe two or three years after you're done with? Oh, the other oh I don't know. That's yeah, same kind of thing, you know, like uh, we'll see if people actually like it or not, you know, and if people do like it, then maybe I'll think about writing some more music in the future. Yeah. But uh, as of now, yeah, we'll just, you know, get get the record out and see see if people enjoy it or not. Perfect, man. That's, that's good to hear. So obviously, you know, um, I wish you good luck uh, for the release. Uh, still another month and a half, a long time for fans to obviously, uh, you know, wait and, and get the, the feel out of it. So I'm sure they'll love it, you know, just like even how the press are loving it. So thanks for writing a great record, dude. Obviously, you know, with Kill Suite, you kicked ass and now with this as well. So it's a double bonanza for, for fans this year. Ah, well, thank you. You're you're very complimentary. I appreciate all your kind words. That's very nice. Thanks, dude. So have a wonderful day. But I'm not gonna let you go before you describe the sound of of this self titled album in just one sentence. Wicked fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. Thanks, Adam. Have a wonderful day, and and you know, good luck with with the upcoming of uh, uh, the Kill Switch tour, and also with the release, man. Awesome. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate I, it. I hope you someday come down to India because you guys got a insane followers here. Ah, that would be great. I've, I'm, that's probably my favorite food in the entire world. I love Indian food, so yeah, I would love that. Hopefully that happens. Take care of yourself, brother. It was nice having a chat with you. All right. Thanks, man. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.